All right, guys, I got under there and uh, went to put the spare tire on and uh, the axle was bent and the wheel wouldn't turn. So I drug it out here, uh, went and bought a new axle. It comes with the springs on it and uh, went to just change the spring and the axle, hubs, everything. And uh, the trailer manufacturer didn't use lock nuts on the springs and just put a tack weld on them. So now I got to stick with the original springs and just swap the axle only. But that's all part of the fun. Alrighty, I got the axle all in. Got this side a little bit shored up for the ride home. Yep. Hopefully it toes straight and everything will be fine. But we're headed back home. Alright, this is the end of day one. That top molding has to come off all the way around the trailer uh, to change the back corner and to change all this front work. Tomorrow, I'll make a list of materials. All right, I got it in the shop. I had to take the dome off the roof, the vent dome. All righty, did a little more work today. Day two, got all the old uh, wall studs cut out. Straightened out that top piece that catches the bottom of the wall studs you can see how far the corner is bent up on the trailer out here it's probably up a little over an inch tore it loose right there all right, I got it all cleaned up and cleaned out. I still have to pull the top trim metal off. I gotta fix this upper corner. Uh, it's a little bit bent, down, and twisted. So, gotta fix that a little tiny bit. I made a list today of all the materials needed. So, I'll get in touch with the manufacturer and see what they have to say. Alrighty guys, pulling into rock solid cargo trailers. Alrighty, got the trailer all loaded up with the parts uh, here from rock solid and getting ready to head back home. Alrighty, here's some of the new trim pieces in the sheet metal. Uh, sheet metal's already bent. That's really nice. New fender. And then that's the new door and door frame. Alrighty, I got the corner skin off. The frame is a little bent up there. I'm going to just get it back straight and grind it smooth. And then this is where the cam lock for the back door goes and it tore the bottom one loose. So I'm just going to straighten that metal back out. I'm going to replace them with stainless steel 3 8 uh, three bolts on each hinge. The trailer comes set up for two tail lights, but they only installed one. So I bought another set of tail lights and wires. All right, got this corner done today. Had to take all that roof trim loose um, in this side sheet. Got a new fender on it. Got the light on the fender. Got this new corner on and a new trim piece at the bottom. Redid that cam lock for the back door and added a lower set of tail lights on it. So. Now it'll have uh, four tail lights. 
Alrighty, I got all the framework done today. Put in a spot to uh, put the air conditioner. Framed all that in. Framed in the door opening. So hopefully now I can go and uh, insulate it, you know, skin it and then insulate it, put the wood inside, and then mount the door. Uh, made a little perch here for the air conditioner to sit on in that opening. Hopefully it works out well. Alrighty guys, this is a little tear mark in the roof of the trailer. I made a doubler on the inside. That's the big outline. And it goes from roof truss to roof truss. And then this is going to be the patch for the top. Going to put the seal tape underneath it. And then screw it down, pop rivet both edges with washers on the inside and then come back over the outside perimeter with the uh, sealant. All right guys, this is the factory vent dome on top. I took it out uh, because I can't get it in my garage. I have eight foot doors. And so I took it out. I'm just gonna put this panel over it so that I then I clear the uh, garage door by about an inch so I'm just gonna patch over that and then uh, come back with the sealant and seal it real good all right here's the roof with both patches put in place and then I'll show you from the inside That's where the dome vent was. This is the patch where it had a little tear in the ceiling. I'm gonna come back with that one inch insulation board on the whole ceiling. And then 3 8 plywood over that. And so none of this will be seen. Uh, we still gotta put the sealant on the roof when we're totally done. Got to put all the trim up after we get the sides on, so we'll seal the whole roof at one time. Alrighty. Alrighty, got that front done. Got this hole put in for the air condition unit. Got the door hung. All right, here it is from the outside with the door hung. Still got to put the trim on. Got all the sheet metal done. Alrighty, this is inside the trailer. Looking at that right front corner of the trailer that was smashed in. Changed out all the ribs, hung the new door, door frame. Just got done insulating it and uh, taping all the seams. The hole down there at the bottom is where the air conditioner is going to go. Cut the plywood for the floor today. Got to paint the bottom side of it. Alrighty, making it a little bit further. Got the air condition installed. Got this wall all insulated, taped, and... All right, I installed stabilizer jacks on the back of the trailer. Got the feet today in the mail and added the feet to them. All righty, I got the rest of the insulation in the roof today. So I've got all the insulation in and got all the seams taped. All right, this is the front of the trailer inside right here. And I went ahead and took this panel off on the inside.
to add that block, that's where I'm going to bring the power in from outside uh, where you'll plug the cord in to go to 30 amp service. So I wanted to shore that up and make it more solid. All right, it's been a while since I've done any video. Been doing a little bit of work on the trailer. Got the dinette in place, kind of. Tables on a swing mount there. All right, come in here. I'm doing the shower right now. All the walls, the exterior walls of the shower are in place. And now I've started to put up, I, I painted and installed a quarter inch sheet on the back. That's the back wall already installed. And now I'm gonna do the two side walls. I added some metal in the roof to catch the walls. So the, that thing is very, very sturdy. Got the pan all permanently mounted and liquid nailed to the floor. All right, guys, this is the way that the table works. It has two clip-in hinges against the wall and then a leg that folds up. So you just lift up on it and collapse the leg. Then pull it out. It swings down. Drops right down to make the bed. And then you just put the cushions down and that fills it in. I got the material for the cushions to be made, but they're not made yet. Got the countertop up there. Right between the dinette and the shower is going to be where the refrigerator microwave all that goes. Alrighty, I radius the corners on the wood today with a router. Had a friend come over and lend me a router and show me how to use it. That was a first. Alrighty guys, today I put in the stereo speakers. They're in the end of the dinette. And I put in the sink in the countertop there. It's not plumbed yet, but I got it set in there good. Alrighty guys, here's the stereo antenna. Got it mounted by the front corner of the trailer right here. Alrighty guys, it's been a while since I did any video on the trailer build. Today I'm installing the two windows. So I got this window laid out. Drilled a pilot hole there to get the jigsaw started. Got to go through the outer skin, the insulation, and the wall. And uh... Hopefully this will turn out just right. All right, well the holes cut in there. That was a little bit scary, but it turned out it was not a problem at all. Just drilled that hole and uh, jigsawed it right out, no problem. Okay, got the window taped in place so that I can install the ring on the inside which keeps it pulled into the sidewall. Don't have anybody here to help me hold it so I just taped it in place and then I'll uh, screw that interior ring on. Alrighty guys the first window is all the way installed. I've been kind of dreading putting that in and it turned out not to be too big of a job. Show you what it looks like from the inside.
Alrighty, starting on the second window. Got it mapped out and drilled a pilot hole to start my blade. Alright guys, today we got the second window installed in the passenger side of the trailer. So now both windows are in. Super dark in here. But there it is from the inside. Video. We got the inside primed and painted. Everything's white from the floor to the ceiling. And we got the shower stall done. Got some of the wood stained. Still have to put poly on it. Alrighty guys, the trailer build is complete. This is a 2019 rock solid 6x12 V nose. The right front corner got damaged, was the main damage. Repaired all that. And now we'll just walk around the outside and talk a little bit about what we did to it. We of course added the air conditioning, has a real good heavy duty perch that it sits on, protective grate behind it and a rain shield over it. Put in stabilizer jacks and a step to get inside. Added a front porch light and windows. Put in work lights and reverse lights. Those two lights double as both when it's hooked to the truck and then when it's not hooked up, it'll run on the battery system. Put the plug for the Thirty amp service for one ten. All right, we'll get ready and go inside and take a look at it. All righty, we'll go inside and take a look at it. Has a ramp door. Added a shower stall to it. Here we have a two-door refrigerator freezer. On top of that is a new microwave and small coffee pot. There's a shelf up top that runs that whole length around to the front. Has new LED lighting. 
little electricity up there in the corner and then also it has another outlet back here behind the microwave that plug there actually goes up I'll show you in a minute up under the front seat and uh, it runs to a converter to where you can run the refrigerator and freezer on the battery while you're going down the road here's the dinette it drops down and makes into a regular twin size bed has storage under both sides the stereo speakers are built into that the table itself just cams down which I'll show you in a minute onto these rails and that's what what it sits on when you collapse the leg here's the power box just like in any other RV your 110 and 12 volt stuff is all in there air conditioners mounted right there here we have the stereo light switches a voltmeter 12 volt plug and two USB ports right here is the little countertop with a sink it has no no toilet in this camper this is a pump and this does the pump and the uh, faucet all in one piece That's how that works. Got the TV mounted up front here in the corner. Got a light over the door. One centered over the table. One in the back by the shower. And then the other light is up here in the front over the sink. It has luxury vinyl plank flooring in it, which is waterproof, so makes it easy for cleaning it. In this shower stall, in that box down there, is a self-contained shower unit. It uses the little Coleman style propane bottles you hook one of those to it and it takes a five gallon you know you could put it into like a five gallon bucket of water it'll heat that water and it has the pump and shower head all in one piece and then it drains drains like any other shower there goes out all right guys that shower unit and the sink they both drain to the same exact spot they're hooked together under the camper and in the very back corner of the camper there's a drain for them and you can either drain it on the ground depending on where you're at all it is is the shower or the sink or you can catch it in one of those camp style little trailerable units and i have one of those that holds 28 gallons and you just put it right underneath it and uh you can catch the water there and then take it to an appropriate spot to dispose of it i put the paralife logo into the table and then polyed over it but let me break this table down into the bed and let you see what that looks like when it's down all right i don't know how this is gonna work out with the camera but I'm gonna go ahead and break the bed down and hopefully it'll capture some of it you just fold the leg up it unhinges from the wall at the top drops down grab a picture of that all right so that's it now in the down position I'll put the cushions on it and we'll see what that looks like Alright guys, 
here it is with the cushions in the down position. And now that'll take a regular twin size sheet set. Lay right there in bed and watch TV. All right, guys, here's that front counter in the front bench seat. The table's in the down position still, and I took the seat bottom off. It just slips out. Up front under this bench seat, we have a 2,000 watt inverter. And then that's the back side of the electrical box for the 110 and the 12 volt system. In front of that is the water tank and then a battery. Over here is where the air conditioner plugs in, then that little work box in the middle, and then the plug on the left. The plug on the left is the AC plug for the refrigerator. I ran that line from that back electrical box up here into this work box. From the work box, I just came out with a pigtail for that, that whole uh, four gang of electrical outlets back there. When you have shore power, you can plug it in here. And then when you're going down the road, then you can just plug it in up front here into the inverter to run it on battery power going down the road. So that's that's was my plan to to be able to keep the refrigerator cold going to the event and then you can either get on power there or else run the generator. Uh, if you were just running the refrigerator, you could run it all weekend on one battery charge with that inverter. It only takes about 950 watts to run the inverter and that'll pull 2000. All right, I'm gonna put this bench seat back in and then put the table back together. And there again, that's how simple it is to make that back up. Alright guys, this trailer was built as a para-camper for going to little fly-ins, flying these paramotors. And so I don't have a mount on the floor or on the wall. I don't have anything put in yet to hold the paramotor in place, but I would just want to give you a little video of the size of it. in here and look the other direction. 